Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This is another tutorial in the series of Photoshop 101. So the first tutorial I showed you a little bit about the layout of Photoshop. And so with this one, I'll show you how to edit your first photo in perhaps one of the simplest ways. So opening the photo, you just go up to file open and then browse to your image. Or if you have found your image in Windows Explorer, you can just grab it and then drag it into Photoshop and it'll open up. So without having to worry about layers or curves, one of the simplest ways to edit an image is to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. Levels are fairly easy to understand, similar to curves, but with a little less control. So this here is basically a graph of the pixels in the image with the blacks on the left and whites on the right. You can see there's lots of black pixels here, which would be the black border around the earth and then quite a few darks and then the lights would be up here. So if we want these pixels which are in around this gray tone to be black we can slide this black slider up and that brings all these pixels to the starting point of black. So we've sort of defined a new black starting point. So with many images taken especially with point and shoot cameras without very good contrast you have to bring these ends in and the whites. This white is pretty good, but you could probably bring in a little more to bring in the highlights and clip off the top bit. And so that simple edit does a pretty big improvement to most photos. If we want to bring up the midtones, this one's pretty good, but we can slide it to the left and it'll bring up the lightness a little bit. If it's uh, often images taken with a point and shoot again, can be improved with a little slide of the midtones and then press OK. If we look at the before and after, press Control Z or edit undo. You can see a considerable improvement. Once we've edited the image, you'll have to save it somehow. Right now this is a JPEG file and it's a good idea not to save over your original images. So when you save it, you should go up to File, Save As, and then pick a new name for the image perhaps using the old name and then type in edit or some other reference so you know that this image is the edited version of the original image. And click save. And when you're saving as a JPEG, you'll be given this option of quality. To preserve the image the best, you should put it at 12 maximum. The size isn't all that large, so it shouldn't be a big deal. If you're saving it for a web or to send it to someone in an email, you can probably get away with a 8 quality or 9 and it you can see here the size 689 kilobytes as opposed to 1.3 megabytes so it's about half the size but for general storage it's a good idea to keep it at the highest level and just press OK and then you're done. It's a simple edit for a photo. I'll get into more details in future tutorials. Check out more on tutorvid.com